Welcome to the Modular Clubhouse. I'm Jesper, and this is the Harlequin's Context by Shackmat. So the Harlequin's Context is a, well, they call it a modulation preset programmer. And I think that it is spot on. And the reason why I think that that is that's exactly what it is, is because you have, well, um, you've got 16 scenes divided amongst four, set, uh, four acts. And those scenes can then hold four, well, actual, well, voltages or LFOs or uh, or envelopes that you can use in your set. So this is great for live performance. And what I truly love is how easy and how natural it feels to program this. Because even though it says programming, it's not, it's essentially not even that. The only thing you do is you just select the, or the frequency or the voltage or anything else that you might need to do. And you just press store. And that's all the programming there's to it. So that's pretty self-explanatory, right? And yes, of course, it does have several, well, more advanced options, like all of the sets and the, the CV and gate inputs, but still, those are fairly self-explanatory, and I can't wait to show you. So I would say, well, uh, here we go. Here we have Harlequin's Context by Shaq Mutt. So let's do a quick intro of what we actually see here. So you've got two inputs, one for CV in, one for gate in, and I'm going to tell you exactly what uh, those can do later on. And you've got your four parameter outputs, which can of course act as well, uh, standard values that come come out of it. It can be either an LFO, it can be an envelope, it could be uh, serial logic, you name it, you can do all kinds of things with these four uh, with these four outputs. Here you've got the actual dials that set the actual uh, value, what you want to do, whether it's the, well, the, uh, the output value, the LFO rate, you name it. Then you've got your buttons here, and this is a very button intensive uh, module, so you'll need to remember some, well, some shortcuts, but it's actually pretty straightforward once you uh, get to know it. So the first thing you need to understand is you can have four acts within your setup and each one of these acts consists of four scenes and those scenes can then have specific roles and values assigned to each four of these outputs so this sounds like very complex stuff but it's it's really not so with these buttons you can just easily transfer between the um, the scenes and if you hold down the act button you can actually just go through the actual acts very straightforward so let's go back to act one there we go so now we are in act one scene one and we can just set the values in the default setup for these four outputs so that's very easy and you can then of course also say well i want to assign a different role to uh, right now to the first output where you can say i want to have that as a uh, as an lfo a ramp LFO or a uh, or a, any sort of LFO you might have, or you can do an envelope. Where is it? There, you can get an envelope, a release envelope, or an attack envelope. You can do deviate logic, uh, level logic, or just simple well uh, offset values. So let's leave it at that. Let's just exit this. So there, are, I'm just gonna put up the actual list of all different roles right here somewhere on the screen. Um, I won't go into detail of all of them because I think they're fairly, se fairly self-explanatory, uh, maybe with the uh, exception of the deviate and the level one, and I'll get to those later on. Um, but let's uh, just patch this up and see how this works. Um, yeah, let's just do that. So what I'll do is I'll uh, go for plats because that has a lot of input parameters, input CVs. So I'm gonna grab the outputs, put that in my mixer, and I'm gonna grab a trigger from, from PAMS. And if we then play that, we have something really nice, of course. And I'm gonna go just do A to the model selection. B is going into the timbre. 
C is going to be the morph. And D is going to be the harmonics. There we go. So now we can just set all of these by just... Uh, So I'm just turning this knob here and I'm setting the values of what we want. And once I'm happy, I can just press store. And we can just go to the second scene. And we just go back. As you see, I have to turn the buttons down to the well the value that was selected on scene two because it was uh, completely cleared it's zero so and then once the white light is is burning you can actually just uh, set it up so now we can already switch between scene one and scene two go to scene three turn them all the way down and just set something up. So what I'll do is I'll just grab some random full productive in a quantized math nana from uh, from Pams. So I'm going to go to output eight. Grab the the sample and hold. And I'm just going to make sure that it's quantized to something nice. I always like the pentatonic minor. Don't ask me why. It's just one of those things, right? So you can easily switch between your presets. And one thing you can of course do is you can actually save and load these into several well, memory slots that you have on the Harlequin's uh, context. So let me just remove the full proctor for now because one of, one of the things I did is I already saved a preset here. So I can do function load. Oh, wrong, wrong button again. So now I've got and that's how you can do that and it's fairly straightforward to to do these kind of presets and then it's just as easy to clear these so I can just do clear one, clear two, clear three, clear four, and you're done. And then you can, of course, as I said, you can do load and set and save with the ease, with the with the same ease. And then you've got sets, and sets are essentially what kind of behavior the uh, CV in and gate in have. So I've got this set up as let's see in mode number one. So that's basic with morphing. So if I uh, switch between them automatically, they'll morph between that. So if I now put in a an LFO in the CV in, it'll go through the actual ones. I might need to just set the, there you go. There you see, well, it's just going through the, the motions there. I set the range to three or to four. There you go. And now we can, of course, again, let's disconnect this for now. 
set this to something nice. And you can just play around with this for, for hours on end and really do something nice. So the other thing you can do is you can also have several of these more advanced set settings that you can actually just pass in a, a gate to, to the gate in and just have your uh, have, have the scenes progress automatically. So in combination with the Pam's new work hat, that's of course great because you can actually say, well, after eight, well, after eight notes, you can actually just progress the next scene and then you can really build up what you want. And you can do all sorts of things with this. I said you can also do things like LFOs. So let's grab, let's disconnect these for now. I might need to clear all of them again. Let's disconnect these. And let's uh, set up an LFO. So you have your roll. And as you can see, you have several roles that you can do. So I can actually just go to, uh, so this is the the normal one. And you've got your off the, your, your binaural offset. And here you've got your ramp. Here you've got your saw wave. You've got your triangle and your sign and your square. Let's go for a sign, right? So that's set. So now you can see that I can set the, the value there with sorry, the, the rate of change by just turning the knob there. So now if I grab output A and just put that into the, the model there, you'll see it actually traversing there. I can just put this at a lower rate. I'll just put this into the disconnect this that's an LFO right so you can also use this as a just as your four LFO uh, object so it's it's fairly it's 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 so damn versatile so let's uh, clear this again And let's just patch this up and make something out of this. So we have, I'm just gonna grab a full productive from here. Cause I like that. And we're just gonna grab the, the output from here. Ren. So I'm just gonna use some settings to make some progressions. this and put that into the trigger there. It's just going to be a fairly straightforward patch, but I like it. So now we've got a, a blank slate when it comes to Harkin's con context. So the first one I'm just going to use to do the X and Y for the proc. It's the bass drum. So this is scene one, and now we've got scene two. And scene three is just gonna be a bit of an intermediate go all the way down and scene four 
is going to be. So we can now easily change this. So as you see, and if you try and press these buttons, you'll see the display of the proc change. And this is just nice. So then we take one of these and we change the actual model for, um, for plats. Trying to find some things that, that sound nice together. So again. Scene one, scene two, scene three, scene four. That's how easy it is. And then of course, once you've done this, uh, we can go to the, um, to the second act. And we can do all the things again if we want and just set several things up for even more fun things so what we're not doing anything with the uh, with the D output yet so we can actually just use that for the uh, I always like to use that for harmonics so we can go back to scene one To uh, <laughs> up the tempo here. So, one of the things I haven't shown you yet is how to use this as an envelope generator. Uh, so for, in order for us to do that, it's just a matter of just selecting a roll and then of course you can use this and you can trigger it with the gate in. So that's fairly self-explanatory and then the, uh, the actual logic is where you can actually have well, B depending upon A, C depending on B, all sorts of those things. So I hope you at least found this interesting and I hope you truly like the uh, the Harlequin's Corner text by Shaq Um This is just the introductory video. I'm going to do a full deep dive on how you can work with the CV and how you can work with the, with the gate later on. Uh, for now, I would say, well, thanks everyone for your time and let's go back to the uh, studio, right? Cheers. <laughs> so 16 scenes, four acts and just one Harlequin's Corner text by Shaq Matt whom I have to thank for making this episode possible. So uh, thanks for sponsoring this one. Um, this is one of those modules that you simply can't go without. You will need to have something in your rack to store your settings, store your, uh, your CV ones. And of course, one of the beauties of modularies 
if you don't touch your system and you turn it off and you turn it on it'll sound exactly the same well how about when you want to have well animation or if you want to switch between scenes and if you want to have something that's going to help you remember that perfect patch that you just did last night well harlequin's context is there to help you because if you use this to set your um, your modulation settings and you store it you can always recall it back later on when you're performing when you're just happily patching away looking for other happy accidents this is what you need so I strongly advise and strongly recommend the Harlequin's Context by Shackmat. So that being said, as said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions for me or if you've got any questions about the Harlequin's Context, just drop a line below in the comments or drop me a line at Jesper at the Modular Clubhouse. And well, for now, I would say everyone, uh, make sure you join the Discord. We've got great guests lined up for our uh, weekly meetups. And I'm there online, so if you've got any questions, you can always reach out through Discord to me. And for now, I would say, well, uh, please, everyone, we're almost in the uh, in the end game here with the with the whole pandemic. So please, everyone, stay safe, stay healthy, and I hope to see you for my next video. Stay safe. Cheers.